Hello everyone, TrooperHorn23 here. Today we're going to be installing Enhanced Cruise Control Speed Limiter V. And we're going to need ScriptHookV.net and Native UI for the this um, realistic enhancement. I just, I love cruise control in Grand Theft Auto, especially if you're a keyboard player. Then it'll regulate your speed and it's just, it's got a lot of features which we're going to look at. So the links to these three files will be in the description. The first link is going to bring you to this page. It is the cruise control and the speed limiter. Go ahead and hit download. And we're going to need the next two downloads in order to run this modification. The next one is going to be native UI. Go ahead and hit download and it'll download right to your computer. Now we're going to need scriptookv.net. This is different. They're two different things. This scriptookv and scriptookv.net are totally different things. You need both. So get this, the scriptookv.net. And you should already have the normal script hook V. So after you download all those, drag it out to your desktop like we have here. Navigate to your Grand Theft Auto main directory. Mine is going to be in my terabyte here. Grand Theft Auto 5. And once we're in here, we can go ahead and open scripthookv.net. You're going to see all these files here. Now this is really important. You do not want the XML files. So you see this is XML. This one's XML. You do not want those. You want the application extension. There's two of them, and the configuration and the ASI. You don't even need the configuration, actually. I don't put it in. All you need is this ASI, the application extension, and the application extension. So select this ASI file, press down control on your keyboard, click on the application extension, and then the next application extension while still holding down control, and you're going to have all three of these highlighted. Now, just drag and drop these into your main Grand Theft Auto directory, just like we have here. After that, you can X out of scriptookv.net. We're done with that. But go into your Grand Theft Auto directory, right click over here on the side, go down to New and Folder, and we're going to name this Scripts, just like that, and press Enter. So now we have a Scripts folder. It should be empty, obviously, because we just created it. So now that we have a Scripts folder, we can move on to enhance cruise control speed. Go ahead and open this that you downloaded, the cruise control, and you're gonna see two folders. Put this into scripts folder, and then put this into main game folder. Go ahead and open the put into main game folder, and it's gonna have this one file, the x input interface.dll. Go ahead and just drag and drop that into your main directory like I just did here. And we can go back in this folder, and go back into the scripts folder here, and we're going to have cc.net and the x input.net pure.dll. So go into your Grand Theft Auto main directory, go into the scripts folder that we just created, and drag both of these files over into the scripts folder like we just did. And we can X out the cruise control speed limiter. We're done with that now. Now, next is native UI. This is required for the menu um, to pull up the menu for configuration. So we're going to want to go into the scripts folder, the one that we just drag and dropped the uh, speed limiter right into here. Uh, from your main directory, this folder, we just created the scripts folder. And just simply drag and drop both of these files, the native UI.xml and the native UI.dll, into your scripts folder, like that. After you've done that, you can X out both of these and go into the game. Before we get in the game, don't forget that I do have a community Discord named LSPDFR um, support slash hangout. Um, I have all my must-have mods listed here. I also have help channels if you have any issues, or you can just join to hang out in the general chat. Or again, if you have any issues whatsoever with Grand Theft Auto or LSPDFR, you can ask here, and I have a team of helpers, and myself, I am usually on almost all the time. So feel free to join the Discord. Alright, so let's get in the game. And uh, go ahead and hop in any car you like. And the key binding for the menu is the plus key on the numpad on the very right side of your keyboard above the enter key. So when you press that, it's going to bring up this menu here. Now, there's a bunch of different things here. The automatic mode, this is going to automatically accelerate for you to the given speed. It's also got a speed limiter mode, which um, you have to accelerate, but it's not going to let you go past, let's say, like 50 miles per hour. And you can, of course, disable it if you want. Uh, we'll keep it on automatic for now. 
cruise control settings, you can the smooth auto acceleration is gonna slowly accelerate, and, and you can change at what percent it accelerates. So like if I had it at a hundred, then it's gonna like spin tires. It's gonna accelerate so fast, but something like forty five might um, you know a smooth acceleration like real life. Um, the unit you can select miles per hour, meters a second, or kilometers per hour. Um, I keep mine on miles per hour because I am in America, uh, imperial system. The target speed increase, this is going to adjust, um, like if I had it on 5, I can set it to go from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all that. 10 will be 0, 10, 20, 30, 20 will be 0, 20, 40, 60, 50, 100, 150, or 100, or 1 even. Um, I keep mine on 5, but I'll keep it on 10. Engage on gas release. This will automatically engage it when you release the gas. I keep that off. Disengage conditions. If you give it manual gas, it'll disengage the cruise control. Brake will disengage it. Handbrake disengages it. And a collision disengages it. I turn off manual gas. Keyboard key assignments. Here is where you can change all the key binds. I'm just going to keep mine like they are. Default. Controller gamepad. Miscellaneous settings. I just leave all these on and you can save the settings to your INI after you're done um, Adjusting everything to your liking so The way to turn on cruise control is with the um, Asterisk key on the numpad or the multiply key So once I turn this on you'll see engaged automatic target speed zero now once this is engaged if I press 8 on my numpad It's going to say new target speed 10 and I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard right now. If I press 8 again, 20, and so forth, I can go all the way up to 80. And it'll slowly but surely get there. The reason it's taking so long is because um, my cruise control acceleration is on 45. If I turn this off, it'll just gun it like it just did. And it'll hold it at 80 miles per hour. If I press the brake, it'll disengage just like that. Um, the speed limiter feature is really cool. I really like it. If I change this to speed limiter and turn it on, I'm pressing W, but it's not going because the target speed is zero. If I set it to like 30 and I continue to hold W on my keyboard, I'm still holding W, but it limits me at 35 miles per hour. It's pretty neat. Um, I can adjust the target speed increase. So like five, and now it'll go up by fives, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, so on and so forth. And if I change this back to the automatic and I collide with something, then um, it'll disengage just like that. So this is a really cool feature. It's especially useful for um, keyboard players. Um, you don't have to press the W key and you don't have to like, if I tried to, um, say hold it on 30 miles an hour, I got to keep letting off and pressing and it's just, it gets annoying when I could just do this and it'll hold it exactly on 30 miles per hour. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned how to install this cruise control modification it is a must-have in my opinion because i don't use controller feel free to join the discord keep an outlook for future videos and don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day